Welcome back to my next video guys. So I'm going to be going over my Louis Vuitton Clements wallet here with the, the monogramming or the Louis Vuitton logo imprinted into the wallet. So if there's something that you want to know about in more detail, then keep watching this video. I'm going to be going through it shortly. Right guys, welcome back to this video. So if you've checked out my previous video, my Christmas haul, I actually reflected on this wallet. Uh, this was actually given to me as a gift for Christmas. So I just wanted to actually go through it. It's not gonna be a huge detailed review, uh, but it's something that I just really wanted to brush upon and you know give my thoughts on. So this is pretty much the wallet here. Uh, it's a pretty simple wallet, so it has the logo imprint on both sides, uh, so that's the LV imprint into the leather there, and then you have like uh, the golden, the golden zippers here, and then if I open the inside, it's fairly simple, so you have uh, how many sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for placing the cards in. And then you have a note section right behind the, the card section there. So just there, right there. And then the center part for change, though obviously you can exercise your own discretion and uh, you can put other things into it if you want, it's your choice. Um, so yeah, so the wallet I actually was using prior to getting this one was uh, this Prada wallet here. So this one right there. So it's similar in the sense that, you know, you've got the change area right there. Yeah, and then it's just basically the layout is just a little bit different. That's the card section there. So it's just the case that this wallet here compromises of everything in one section as this has two compartments to basically spread everything across. Now, in terms of the material, I wouldn't say it's like extremely supple. I would say it's somewhat soft. It has got like a... A more of a, a tougher texture to it. I would say this is pretty much kind of the same in principle. Uh, in terms of the leather used here, it's uh, what's the name again? Sorry, guys, I'm gonna have to check this for you so I don't give the wrong information because I don't want you guys to have the wrong information here. Just to let you guys know, in terms of the measurements on the Louis Vuitton website for majority of their things just be wary in terms of what measurements they have noted because I've noticed in the past uh, they've noted measurements and then I've just basically I've checked with the, one of the advisors there is this kind of the correct measurement it just looks a little bit off and they've advised that oh you know that's uh, is a little bit off so do be careful guys just double check with the advisors there by chat uh, to see if the description and the the uh, measurements look uh, on point. So here, this leather here, it's a Ampra, Amprinter, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, E-M-P-R-I-N-T-E, Amprita leather. That's probably completely wrongly pronounced, which it, you know, it's likely to be. Um, but yeah, from checking on Google, it's uh, a cow it's sorry a carved leather so it's very similar to a carved leather or it is a carved leather uh just a different kind in some shape or form and the interior lining guys used is cowhide leather so grained cowhide leather um so yes, there's a reference is made to France, Spain, Italy because I think uh, some of these wallets are made in different locations so this wallet here is made in France. Your, can you see it? Can you not, can you see it, can you not? It's probably not gonna be clear, but it's France. So this one's made in France. I'm not sure what the difference, is there a difference in terms of where they're made in terms of quality? Or is this really the location thing? If there is, let me know, because I'm not sure why it really matters. Because they've noted it in the description 
uh, for this wallet that they're made in different locations so I'm not sure if there's a difference in terms of quality but here the Prada one is uh, Safiana leather which to be honest I've had this for three years and it's been it's held up really really well uh, in terms of the price for this wallet here this one here costed around at the time I think it was 400 and it was above 450 pounds at the time and what's more to find guys that's how much I paid in the store so this was actually a very recent design however when I went to Bista Village the outlet for Prada and I checked it there the exact same wallet was there and it was literally the most recent model it was sitting in the store and it was with the gold hardware it's identical and it was there for 278 pounds and I was thinking damn seriously my luck I had no clue if I had known that this wallet was already at Bista Village I would have I would not wasted my money because that's just ridiculous I paid too much as you know with the Louis Vuitton wallet this is one benefit I do want to say they don't have an outlet so essentially the price you're paying it's that's it that you're not going to get it at a discounted rate unless you go on eBay and look for someone you know something that's been more used or you know so someone's selling it at a more reduced rate so I guess that's one benefit with Louis Vuitton wallets when it comes down to if you want to sell it it will hold up its value because you're not going to get it cheaper from anywhere else are you in the store so yeah uh, in terms of measurements I don't think I have a ruler here one moment Right, the reason why I'm providing you guys the measurements is because, like I said, sometimes the measurements are not accurate. So just for the sake of this video, while I'm doing it, I might as well throw the measurements uh, out there. So for those that are interested to essentially purchase this wallet, uh, you could do it with peace of mind that, you know, it is the measurements that you're looking for if you are looking at the measurements. Because if you looked at the other Louis Vuitton well uh, wallets, that are more expensive so I think they were around 700 pounds the size of those is like it's huge it's like that big and that it's a little bit more wider but it's bigger taller and that's too much for me personally but it might be something that you prefer so we all got our individual choices in terms of sizes but yeah so width wise here it's uh, 20 centimeters and then Height wise, it is, what is it? So I'm just trying to get accurate mission in my, it's like nine, uh, oh gosh, I can't even flip my hand around. So there, it is close to, it's nine and a half to roughly 10. I'm sure you guys can see it hopefully. Yeah, and the depth, I think it's probably about an inch. I'll just give it to you in centimetres. So the depth is around... Uh, just uh, about two centimetres, just a tad over two centimetres. Sorry, I don't have a ruler. I have to use like an inchy tape, so... Yeah, uh, but it provides kind of a rough, like a uh, pretty much accurate measurement, regardless of it being a ruler or an inch tape. Uh, so yeah, that's the measurements for this one. Obviously the Prada one in comparison is, I would say nearly half the size, actually a little bit over half. Um, just put it on the top. It's smaller, but um, I didn't notice any quality issues with the Prada wallet, so if you want to purchase uh, the Prada one, it's a good option as well. Uh, just don't go to the Prada shop if you want to purchase it, um, just go straight to the outlet. They have some fantastic choices there and they're pretty much, they're quite similar to the options in the Prada store, uh, the actual store, not the outlet. Um, in terms of Louis Vuitton guys, uh, have I have had experience of a Louis Vuitton wallet before. I had got one for my, uh, I bought myself one a couple of years ago for my birthday. It was really expensive. It was, um, I think it was a Sarah wallet. I can't remember. The one with the flap on top. It was the same type of leather. 
so that one was around 600 pounds it was a really expensive wallet um however i've lost that wallet this is the sad thing if you're going to spend so much money guys on uh, this kind of wallet uh, get a tile put into it so a tile is a tracker so it can track where you have these kind of things and I do have one sitting in my uh, drawers which I'm going to utilize I'm going to put it into this because if you lose this like I did with my other wallet it's more to find because it's a lot of money and I had also got my initials engraved inside it so I'm a bit I'm a bit upset about that but it's just a it's just a material thing it is what it is um but yeah i'm not going to make the same mistake with this one for sure this one i'm going to put a tile in it um so yeah i just wanted to provide a review like uh some of my thoughts on this um i've only got it recently uh, so I'm not able to provide an in-depth review in terms of how it's wearing for me and how it's doing in terms of functionality uh, This can only be I can only tell you in the next say six months <coughs> Six months to a year and uh, So that's why I wanted to do a forefront review. So you got my initial impressions right now uh, feeling it feels really nice robust rigid solid uh, I love the gold hardware, I love the black leather and uh, there was option between black, navy and red and the reason why I went for black I just feels like I just feel like it goes with pretty much everything um, but the lady in the store, oh sorry when I went to the Louis Vuitton store in early December I was actually looking at this wallet and I was speaking to the advisor there and what she told me the navy version of this wallet with the blue lining so it's the same thing it's the same model just different colors so it's blue from the outside with like a red kind of line running on the edges she told me that is the most popular model so that's the most popular selling color in this specific model so if you guys are interested I would highly recommend the black one or the navy one it's a preference choice on your end the red there's a red one um i'm not too sure about the red one um yeah i'm not i don't know if i would personally go for it myself but yes yeah, so the navy or black i would highly recommend uh, they both look fantastic if you had to choose one um i think that's pretty much it uh, obviously i'm going to do a review later on in the year to go through my uh, like how it's wearing how it's going but for the moment i think this pretty much kind of sums it up for this video so there's that video out there on youtube that basically people can review uh once i do my second video later on in the year to see my initial impre like so you guys can see my initial impressions on this wallet um yeah and just quickly note it did come in this dust bag here and it was wrapped in louis vuitton's packaging this one here and louis vuitton knows how to pack this stuff and you can't miss their packaging from far away i mean this is bright orange does i think i always love louis vuitton's packaging i get really excited bright orange is this it really catches your eye right so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I uh, hope it's been somewhat informative. Um, I am going to do a comparison at some point between this wallet here and just another carved leather wallet because essentially this is what it is, is carved leather. And you know and I know that there's loads of carved leather wallets on the market that are in comparison far cheaper than this one this one i checked online is uh, a 500 pound wallet so it's really expensive as you can get other carved leather wallets that are half the price even less so that would definitely be an interesting review and i will be doing that in the upcoming months so do keep an eye out in the meantime guys please do like this video hit the subscribe button below this video the red button you cannot miss it and uh, also leave a comment I'll, I'm, I'll be interested to hear in terms of your experience if you've had a Louis Vuitton wallet uh, if you want me to maybe go into more depth about this specific wallet if there's anything else you want me to really look into do let me know in the comments below let me know what your thoughts are and and yeah, I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Have a lovely week and uh, I'll see you soon. See ya.